Hey everybody, welcome back to Red Dead. Uh, we're gonna go see Hosea. He's been looking for us for a while, and I imagine this is gonna be our next uh, main line to follow. Uh, we've been kind of all over the place in the last little while, which has been pretty cool. We did a little bit of hunting. We've done some robberies. We've caused some problems. <laughs> but things have gone relatively smooth. Good. So we're gonna head out in our brand new cowboy attire. And it is beautiful. I think we spent probably six or seven hundred dollars on clothes, maybe more. Gentlemen, what are you doing? selling it back to where it came from. Why? Well, I ain't got a market for it. They made it. They must have someone to sell it to. <clears throat> stuff look kind of lonely out here. I think we'll cut ourselves a deal. Uh, this is the stuff that we okay. stole from the camp. You and Dutch was just doing raided. your duty when you requisitioned it. Now I'm doing mine. All right. I should get going now. Bye, John. I'll leave you fellas to it. Good luck. Thank you, John. Jose is we'll the businessman of the operation. Dutch asked him to look into something to do with the Braithwaite horses, I think. Sure, okay. Okay, let's head out to the Braithwaite's place. You know the way? Yeah. I'll John's doing there. something with the Braithwaite's so horses? What exactly what are we doing? This is the moonshine we took after blowing up the Braithwaite's still, right? I think the good citizens taking the trouble to return their stolen goods deserve some reward, don't you? And it's time we made a formal introduction, like the Dutch told us. Look, oh, pretty ballsy. these are two big old plantation houses, and all I keep hearing is they hate each other so much they can't see past it. I know. I've seen it. There's a gray boy and a Braithwaite girl carrying on a secret affair. Not so secret I mean, affair. Well, helping them. The mind boggles. You think they're of use? Not sure. They don't seem too involved in the rest of it, but maybe. Well, I'm sure there's money in this for us somewhere if we can get in the middle of it. Hello, gentlemen. How are you? What's that in the back there? Moonshine, my fine fellow. May I have a word with the man of the house? The man of the house is a lady. Fair enough. Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. May I speak with her? I want to discuss a business opportunity. I mean no harm. No harm at all. You may happily shoot me if I do. <laughs> okay. Okay. She's at the house. Yeah, yeah, sure. You can hop a ride. That's fine. We'll be watching you. All right. You heard the man. Driver, proceed, please. This is where we snuck by to get to that gazebo in the back. Good memories. What you want? Found something. Out in the hills, thought. Thought maybe you was in the market for it. For what? Some liquor. I ain't in the market for what's already mine. The way we see it, it's ours. <sighs> well, with us possessing it, and I, I checked all over. For the life of me, I couldn't see your name on it. Oh, relax. I ain't here to Jeez. rob you. No, it seems that's easy enough. Why not do a deal? What do you sell that stuff for? Dollar a bottle. You give us 50 cents. It's already ours. Well, look on it as a reward for finding the property. Alternative is we go sell it someplace else. The alternative <laughs> is you get shot. Now, I don't think you want to do that. Who wants to get shot over a bottle or two of liquor? <laughs> Pay the man. Pleasure doing business with you. And listen, uh, we didn't take it. At least not without orders from... Oh, I know exactly who gave you your orders. Old Sheriff Gray. You know what? I don't want it. In fact, sir, now you can do me a favor. There's an extra ten bucks if you do. <laughs> 
Drive the stuff into Rhodes, head over to the tavern run by Mr. Gray, and give the stuff out for free. Ooh, wow. dirty. I like that. I believe they call that a promotional expense. <laughs> As you wish, madam. You boys come back sometime and tell me how you made out. Maybe we'll play a little cribbage. <laughs> oh, right. oh she's interesting. The Rhodes Saloon. They're gonna be so pissed. Here we go. So I finally sold those Cornwall bonds. Got close to a thousand for them. Nice. I wanted more, but not bad considering how hot they were, especially after that bloodbath in Valentine. No, not bad at all. Apparently, Cornwall's been pumping a lot of cash into the Pinkertons. Wants to keep their full effort on going after gangs. Gangs like us. Yeah, that don't surprise me. We're gonna take a little shortcut here, right. Hosea. This could get ugly. You and Dutch already have that thing going on in town with the sheriff. We've yeah, overshot our shortcut. That's it. Now we're inserting ourselves in his blood feud. We'll need something. I ain't playing dressing. You know how I feel about that. Of course you're not. You're... You're a clown's idiot brother. Hosea, please. I'm the clown. That's what we come up you're with. You're the idiot. Just look sad and keep quiet. Even you can do that, Arthur. Oh, I have to. Uh, put this hat on. This is more of an idiot hat. Smoke this pipe. Bring your lip forward, just a bit. Squint. Oh, perfect. Uh, what about you? No, oh, shh, shh. You can't speak. You're turned idiot. <laughs> right, broke poor man is hot. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't get mad now. <laughs> I'm not mad. I'm just a terrible carriage driver. So look at us, hold on. Yeah, okay, we can pull this off. Hold on, we're gonna have to do a UE here. Whoa. You sure this is the way? Well, I'm reasonably certain that it's over here, yes, but uh yeah. we've overshot the turn a tad, so we're gonna have to take down this fence. Okay, we're not taking down the fence. All right. I got myself turned around. Okay, Fenton, stay calm now. For Mama, she loved you so. Fenton? <laughs> Just a shame you had to strangle her in a rage, right? Grab two cases of that stuff and follow me. My brother Fenton. Don't mind him. Don't madden him. He's turned idiot. <laughs> Killed Jesus. our mother, but it weren't his fault. How'd you boys? How'd you boys like a couple of bucks? I bet you would. One for each of you. We're in the new trade of advertising, which is an American art form about ensuring people buy the correct things. I don't know. One more dollar. Says give us half an hour. What harm can we do in half an hour? <laughs> Go along now. Enjoy the money. Come Easy. On, Fenton. Let's hand out the liquor. Gentlemen. Gentlemen. My name is Melvin. That's my brother Fenton. He's a bit funny, but boy, can he pour drinks fast. For the next 30 minutes, the drinks in this year bar, in this year town, are entirely free. Yeah. The only rule is that you gotta drink 
Take them. So hurry up. Put old Tank to work. Don't get him mad, though. His mama made him mad. We buried her. <laughs> like how invested he is. Now come up to the bar, everybody. Come on, fellas. It's your luck. I only have one fill. Three drinks. Yeah. A gift. Bounty. It's a sin to oh, look. But I see a gift horse all over my eyes. That's funny. That's some strong stuff. See you, okay? Just keep them coming. So drink up. Don't be shy, boys. <laughs> Mr. Gray won't be happy about this. Line him up. Where's Mommy? It's a land of opportunity. Now it's your opportunity to get in this. You're a fine man, man. You're a fine man. Don't have to, your brother. I feel like this has gone on for longer than a half hour here. That's our goddamn lick! An honest mistake! Boys, get him! Oh, 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 oh. I don't think so. Handled it. I'm coming. Shot. He's back to fence. You driving? Yeah. I'm getting out of here. Ain't gonna let this go, are they? No, they're not. Over there. They got out the back. Got more coming after us. Well, shoot them then. I'm on it there, Hosea. I just saw them coming out of the alley. I think we wouldn't find you. Oh, I don't know what happened there. He's down. Get yeah. 
more of them? Don't think so. Whew. Not bad. Jesus, all this over a few bottles of booze? Reckon it's more they don't want another get on their patch. Okay. Pull off the road here. All right. We're good. Yeah. Remind me never to take up a career in... What was it? <laughs> Advertising. Advertising. <Yeah. laughs> you think that woman set us up? No, I don't think so. Maybe. This place is odd. Yeah. I keep seeing those fellas. In a way, she could have got back at two people at once there. Clearly so. not too happy to have some new competition. I'll go visit old Mob Braithwaite. See what's what. Why? We've been making money. The chest is filling up again, slowly but surely. Part of me thinks we just get ourselves good and lost. But we still need a lot more money before that can happen. So, for now, let me go give old Mrs. Braithwaite some of this moonshine as, well, let's call it a peace offering. Sure. That was fun, Fenton. Careful Come out there, buddy. Of you yet? <laughs> I'll go speak to Dutch. So, what do you think? About what? The fine folks around these parts. Oh, real nice. Exactly. On the one side, we have got the Gray family. Scots, degenerates, drunkards, the local law. You couldn't make this stuff up. Rich as Croesus. And on the other, their mortal enemies, the Braithwaites. Moonshiners, hypocritical, both rolling, we believe. In gold. And in the middle of it all, you got some inbred retailing of Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so what are you boys thinking? We try to rob them both. <laughs> <laughs> of course, Micah. You sure? Why not? Because Make it look we like got the others did it. in three different states after us. Last thing I want is to get us into trouble, but we need money. Now, we have the opportunity here to put ourselves in the middle of something ain't nobody going to know we was here. Because even without us, these fools are going to kill each other okay, anyway. Okay, well, Jose has gone back to see that Braithwaite woman. Good. Hosea should definitely take the lead on this. I sent Sean over to Braithwaite Manor, too. Now, you can meet up with them or join John and Javier Ooh, at interesting. the place. Something to do with the Braithwaite's prize horses. Well, how the hell did we get in at the Gray's place? Sheriff Gray kindly put in a word with his father. It ain't that complicated. <laughs> we gotta convince each family that we're on their side, and then we rob them both. Before they figure out it was us that done it, and not the other lot will be long gone. Think of it as payback for my daddy. Yikes. Payback. I ain't in the revenge business, Dutch. Least of all for something happened a long time ago. Well, I guess we all gotta pay for something. Now, if you will excuse me, Arthur, I got to write a letter. I'm thinking we go to the Greys and work with John. That way... Hold on. Let me open this journal real quick here. So Clemens Point, Creeping Time. This is old. Here we go. This fellow I was talking to at the train station told me I could get decent money if I collected the set of cigarette cards. Okay. And the idiot hunting for treasure. What is it that got updated? Maybe just the gang savings. Alright. I'm gonna see if there's any food left. And then I think we'll go and see John, because the idea of the prize horse is kind of interesting. I feel I made a bit of a fool of myself again. Is that right? Uh, we've all done it. 
He's looking good. And you saved my life again. Well, maybe one day you'll save mine. Or my soul. <laughs> yeah, I'd like that. Don't make fun of me. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Anyway, it wasn't a complete waste of time. I stole this from one of those awful men. You should have it. What? Where's he? <laughs> well, thank you, but you were blind drunk. Ooh, a drunk, platinum pocket watch. My manners. Be well, Mr. Morgan. Thank you. Appreciate that. Ah, uh, Mr. Morgan. All right, we'll eat up. We'll see if we can hit the coffee. And there's somebody behind us as well that needs something. Nice. Does that handle the, uh... Looks like that's fortified our Deadeye as well now. Words. I'm not, I'm not quite sure. Uh -oh. oh. This keeps happening. Is he developing Alzheimer's or something? Gentlemen, what are we chatting about here? You boys mind if I sit down a while? Been a tough few weeks. I know I've been kind of mad with you all. I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry, but I I want us to get out of here. Everybody nearly gone crazy. I'm just trying to keep things together. Sometimes it gets hard. I guess I'm... I guess I'm struggling to just... find a path forward for us all. Same as Dutch. Same as Jose. I don't want to die. But if I have to, I will. So... Forgive me. All of you. Hey, Grimshaw. How about you keep me company? I don't think we've seen anything like that before. Okay, so we go to see Hosea at Braithwaite, or we see Marston. And I think we're going to go see Marston. I like the idea. Something about the prized horses. Dutch told you meet with John and Javier at Gray's place. Something to do with, the, yeah, the prized horses. All right. Horse station. Oh, nice. We can just pick. Let's bring out Mr. Chucky for a while. It's been a minute. All right, dude. Yeah, yeah. You and me. You did good, Valentine. <laughs> yeah, that worked out nice. The bank heist. Yeah. He was getting really annoyed that we kept picking on him because of his uh, explosion Ooh. ordeal. lack thereof the early train Master. Ah. 
In roles when you're acting as a deputy for Sheriff Gray. Okay. I won't say much. You can't assign much. But you won't. You okay? <laughs> Ooh, I look that's okay. a face. <laughs> no. You look awful. Not even a mother could love. <laughs> awful. Look at me. Useless. I wasn't born to this. I didn't deserve this. I used to be gentle. Jeremiah Compson. Compson stead. Good for you. If that's anything to boast about. They took everything from me. Who did? They. And what did they take? My whole life. A whole way of living a career. I stole a lot of things, but that's quite a lot to steal. Look at me here. Living in the shit and the mud. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Good chat. My old house. The house my grandfather built. It's all dilapidated and destroyed. Oh, his voice, man. Repossessed by the bank. I'm sorry to hear that. I was supposed to live a different life. Me too. If only... I could get my old things back. Personal mementos, a watch, old pistol, my ledger. Where's this house again? Compson's Stead, so north of Scarlet Meadows. I can help you. Banks says I can't go near it. I'm living rough over by Aris Field. Well, if I'm ever out that way, I'll see what I can do. Time, time is hell. Time is hell. That, oh, that voice, though. That's so cool. Yep. Let me see. Whereabouts is this place? We can go back and see Dutch, but no. What do you think? I think we head out and see if we can help this guy right now. The house isn't too far. He's down on his luck. Having a terrible night. Puking everywhere. Absolute disgrace. He's got nothing. Let's see if we can help the guy out. Unless, of course, we're being set up to just rob a house. Let's show him how free men do some killing. Whoa, Lemoyne! Hold up. and animals everywhere. I doubt they'll be able to follow us in here. Oh, well, maybe. Hold on. Nice try, buddy. It is totally dark in here. Bad place to run through. Yeah. Okay then. Do we have the the lantern? Yeah, there we go. Oh, it's kind of spooky. By order of Judge Meredith Holden in the courts of the state of Lemoyne, 
We do hereby grant repossession of this property and all items herein to the Bank of Rhodes. M. Holden, Judge Holden, Henrietta Blackley Clerk, November 18th, 1895. Well, that's all well and good, but... Ledger, watch, pistol. Kentucky bourbon, empty. What's a daguerreotype? Is that just like the style of this photograph? June 7th, 1855. Dear sir, please accept this likeness of your family as a small token of appreciation for your assistance in the recovery of my property. Like your old pa, you're a cunning old dog and a credit to this community. <laughs> Yours, Colonel Joshua Nixon, the Ascension hmm. Plantation. There was a kid's drawing we saw. Yeah, where is this? Thanks indeed for your talk to our Sunday school class. <laughs> Thought you might like this drawing young Josh did of you. He <laughs> wants to grow up to be just like you. Sam. This is really sad. Jeremiah, there ain't nothing here any value. I wouldn't give you a nickel for it. Come by for a sup of whiskey anytime. Bill. Yes. I was sorry to hear of Betsy's passing. Things is easier up there for sure. Okay. Where's all this old crap? <laughs> Getting all emotional. Enough of that shit. Where's all the crap we're looking for? April 2nd, 1870. Dear Mr. Thompson, I'm afraid there's no more work for you down here at the plantation. Oh, man. I'm grateful for the help you've given us. And to help your pappy, and your pappy's pappy gave us before you. These are trying times for all of us. You are in our thoughts and prayers. Yours truly, Colonel J. Nixon, the Ascension Plantation. So we're seeing the way in which his life um, has ended up the way that it has. I wonder if we'll learn more about his son. That's the old watch. Now the ledger and the pistol. Okay, the sun's coming up, so we don't need the lantern, I don't think. Premium cigarettes. Yeah, let's go. No? The, uh... I don't think... Like, I think they're for smoking. The Yeah. So... There are those special cigarette packs where we can find the the cards or what have you. Oh, there we go. Okay. So we should actually get rid of the ones that we have when we find new ones. That's cool. We, admittedly, we don't see a lot of cigarette packs. The way upstairs is totally blocked off. Looks like his, like a journal or the ledger that he was maybe talking about right below us. Dear Mr. Thompson, after numerous complaints from customers and fellow employees oh, alike, yikes. we must terminate your employment. There's just no place for a man like you at the Central Union Railroad Company. So we're for the rail as well. 
Maybe it's just a stack of old letters. Uh, a trap door, huh? Oh, cool. In front of the fireplace. <laughs> huh? What Whoa. are you doing here? We found this place first. Yeah. Easy. You can keep it. I'm just looking around for some things. Hmm. That old revolver yours. <laughs> Finders keepers. I don't think so. Ah! Son of a bitch! Oh, oh god damn it. damn it! Come on, man! Where are you going? <laughs> Come on! Oh, you wanna go? Get you. Oh. He's checking him first, right in front of his buddy. Whoa! Shot the hat off. You don't have to die. What? <laughs> no way. That's hilarious, actually. That's so funny. You don't have to die, and he just stabs me. Alright, come on in here. Let's make this quick. I'm a busy man. Oh, right in the heart. Right in the heart. Oh, that'll be the pistol. Uh, Gotta get my hat back. Now. So Ledger's probably down in the basement. God damn it. Told you to stay away from the boy. He don't want this. Heck, none of us want nothing to do with you. What? Rants. I don't think this light's providing much. This your ledger? A list oh, of from slaves? the plantation. Uh, rewards. January 15th, Ooh. Betsy, $17. January 18th, Louise, $12. May 18th, Wilfred. Eighteen dollars. May twenty fourth. Million child. Twenty dollars. Negroes recovered in eighteen fifty six. Oh. Betsy, Luis, Wilfred, Minion, Child. Do these dates line up with how many they recovered? I think so. Maybe not, but... Wow. This guy lived an interesting life. Well, that's that. I was somewhere near Rhodes when they caught me. Till the day I die, I ain't gonna forget the sound of that dog barking <laughs> in my heels. But I don't suppose that day gonna be far off yet. It was 50 lashings yesterday and 50 more to come. I don't think I can take any more. Man said he was doing his job. 
Funny kind of employment if you ask me, but I suppose you ain't. Light's fading, so that's it for now. I do hope I live to see the end of this war and justice win out. Ugh. Wow. June 64. This is a slave's diary. God. Yeah. Right? See if there's anything else down here, but... Doesn't look like it. Oh man, that's so dark. And look at the look at the look at the chains. Like this is where he Oh. Oh. It's t it It's tough to judge because we weren't I wasn't around in that time, but you know, obviously it's terrible. Take this back to him and see what he has to say. Okay. Okay. 